Uh, hello everyone, this is Engineer Mohammed Samasman and uh, today I am going to discuss about the primary variables of Abacus visualization that is mostly used uh, in the visualization. So uh, let me show you my model. I have created this model beam column joint and uh, mostly of us like uh, here we can see this is primary variables like acceleration, acceleration yield and like all this we don't know about it at the when we are beginners so i saw like on the internet the no one has uh, uploaded the detailed video mostly like mostly common views the, there are many but it's, uh, these are the basic actually these 10 to 11 variables are very basic so we must have an information about it so first of all let's discuss about a this is special acceleration and nodes so you can see that here this is the acceleration and uh, this is actually acceleration the red color shows a maximum and uh, gradually it is increasing towards the beam end and the next one is actually the active yield flag at integration point active AC shows active and yield, yield flag at integration point so let's see in our model what is the active yield yeah this is the active yield because uh, I am applying here the stress displacement 30 mm displacement here so the active yield is this uh, like uh, it is actually the steel yield so mostly steel is yielding at this uh, joint location and third one is the AR rotational acceleration at nodes uh, the A denotes acceleration and there are different categories of acceleration so this is the actually the rotational acceleration and because I'm applying the displacement and force here so that's why moment is created uh, at this end so that's why uh, the ex rotational acceleration is only at the beam end and the next one is the CF point loads at node like forces point forces are point load at the nodes so let's see uh, the point CF yeah actually there are no point load I have applied I have applied the displacement in this and a load is considered force here and the next one is, is the, the same and this is a damage in compression yeah compressive damage at integration points uh, there are two types of uh, like st in concrete uh, compression and in steel in tension so compressive is weak in tension and strong in uh, like compression so this is uh, compressive damage you can see in the joint and the next one is the damage in tension tensile damage at the integration point yeah you can and we can also see the tensile damage uh, because the concrete is weak in tension so that's why it is mostly part mostly part of the beam column is does uh, it is damaged so damage uh, there are two types of damage compression damage this is an uh, damage in an energy this is uh, 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 this is all e are the energy so th these are very specific to the like, like this, this is not the basic actually mostly we use these th these variables and then the logarithmic strain components and the integration point so let's check le logarithmic strain yeah this is le uh, yeah actually strain here <coughs> yeah you can see the white part is the strain and the next one is the PE plastic strain and this is the logarithmic strain this is the plastic strain component plastic strain is different like let's take plastic strain yeah it is like same we can see it. and next one is the P equivalent plastic strain at the integration this is PE simple plastic strain this is equivalent plastic strain yeah let's check in our model if our model have equivalent yeah we this is actually the equivalent plastic strain and uh, yeah, different values and the next one that is very important magnitude of plastic magnitude magnitude of plastic strain at integration point yeah <coughs> this is the magnitude yeah, plus magnitude of plastic strain PEMG and it you can use uh, and understand them according to your model that what are you actually trying to get and then this is the very important one reaction force these are basic reaction force displacement stresses this is very basic so this is the reaction force 
yeah, we can see the reaction force yeah, re RF mean reaction force and this reaction moment RF reaction moment at the nodes and like F denotes forces and M denotes moments uh, so in our model the moments at the joint part and the next one is the stasis components at the integration points yeah this is very important because we all mostly we need stress and curve to show our results and yeah, this is the stresses uh, uh, and next one is that scalar stiffness degradation at integration point yeah this is actually just check the uh, uh, scalar stiffness of the uh, any component yeah this is the scalar stiffness deg degradation you can see how it is like created and the next one the basic parameter is a u displacement special displacement of the nodes uh, yeah. let's check the displacement in our model i am just showing you all that so that you can uh, like uh, check and uh, also have a clear idea about what is uh, special di like displacement and every yeah we can also check actually the displacement at the uh, steel you can see the because we are we are applying forces there so maximum displacement is uh, like created at this point and uh, last two is the like rotational displacement this is u means same as r shows rotational displacement yeah, you, it, this is rotation and you can also like uh, in different direction you can check uh, the rotational displacement but, but we actually check the resultant one when we are want to show our results and uh, this is the velocity at node and this is the rotational velocity and uh, we can see I, 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 I don't think so that yeah this is the velocity and this is the rotational velocity so these are the actually the basic uh, primary variables that used in a vacuum and uh, I hope you are you have the like you have the idea you can take a screenshot of my excel sheet if you want and uh, good luck if you have any quest questions you can ask me in comments